Right, I'm going to show you now how to do a double crochet rib. Very easy stitch. If you're in America, you'll call it single crochet. I've done a row there of double crochet to start off, just as you normally would. And then again, as you normally would, when you get to the end of the row, make one chain to turn. Turn it round. The only difference between uh, a double crochet rib and an ordinary rib is that you, instead of working into the stitch, like that, you just work into the back loop. So if you turn that so you can see along the top, you can see all the stitches there first one, there's the second one. You see each one is made of, of two loops. And you just work into that back loop. So there's the first stitch there. Insert your hook just into one loop at the back. Pull the yarn through the yarn through both. And again into the next one. Just work into that back loop. Into the back loop. Pull it through, pull it through both. So it's just the same as an ordinary double crochet or single crochet if you're American all the way along the row. Okay, one stitch left there, to the back loop of that last stitch, and as normal, make one chain, and turn, and the same again, into the first one. Just carry on doing that, and you'll get this rib pattern forming, but you'll notice that unlike knitting, The ridges of this rib pattern go from side to side, not up and down. So there, now I've done quite a few rows there. I'll just finish off this last row. As you can see, as I said, the ridges of the rib go sideways. So if you're using this for a welt for cardigan or a jumper, what you'll have to do is make it the length you want to go all around the bottom of the jumper or cardigan. So this would obviously be made a lot longer than this. And turn it sideways. See, nice stretchy rib there. And then you can immediately go on to work all along this top edge, or well the side edge, but it's now the top edge, I've turned it round, and start on the body of your garment. So I'm going to do half trebles. So I'll make two chain this time to turn. And I'll work all along there, so wrap it round once. There you go. Half treble, wrap it round. Search your hook. You 
you have to guess really work it out a bit of pen and paper work out how many stitches you need to go along the edge and you can work out roughly how many you need per row of double crochet rib really you want it to be a little bit wider because you want your welt to be tighter than the rest of the jumper there's the first row I think we can fit one more on the end there. Okay, for half triples, we make two chain, turn, wrap it round once, insert in there, pull it through all three loops, wrap it round, insert, pull it through all three. And a few more rows there just to show you what it looks like. Double crochet rib is also very good if you're making scrubbies. It gives a nice rough surface for washing your dishes. Just make little squares of it in good old bog standard scratchy acrylic and it does a nice job of cleaning dishes. There you go, that's what it looks like. So that will be your body of your jumper or cardigan or whatever you're making. Or the cuff of a sleeve, a nice stretchy edging on it. Nice neat simple way of doing a crochet rib.